Hi, I just thought I'd show you what's different about this since you last saw it on my blog. It only had one run of, uh, didn't have black fluff on it last time, but that's part of the price you pay for wearing black clothes. It only had one run of gimp and it had the web stitches and it had this little bit of gimp here. So since last time I've added another run of gimp and on this bit I've done the loops bigger. Don't ask me why, I just did. Um, don't know, change is as good as a rest, why not? And then I've started to add little bullion loops in between each web stitch up here and about three French knots and I've done that, that's added gimp as well. So what I thought I'd do today is I'll just do a couple of bullion loops. There's not many to do on here. Um, to finish them, one, two, three, that's all. So I thought I'd do them with you, then see how we get on for time. Um, maybe do the French knots as well but maybe not we'll see we'll see how it goes so no I don't know if I'm in the right position really hoop to hand ratio here but I can't really do anything else because um, I'm getting to the side and it can get a bit difficult when you get to the near the edge so let's um Right, so that's that. This is a bullion loop. Oh. Right, so it's wrapped. If you can hear something in the background, that's my printer. It's not the cogs turning in my head. Um, it's a good thing you can't hear them. So that's one. Go across and do this one. Oops. Actually, when something's going on like that printer, it's going, it's got a rhythm, it's like da 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 da. And it interferes with my counting, I keep losing track and I keep counting the printer and not this. Um, does that happen to you? It's really distracting actually. It's like if I try and count sheep, not a chance. I'll count one jumping over, then there'll be two, and then three will jump over at once, and then it'll go down to one again, and then four will jump over at once, and then a dog will appear in the picture. I can't count sheep either to try and get to sleep. Right, so that's the last bullion loop and I'll do a couple of French knots because I want to actually have a quick look at this and see what else I want to do on this surface. Um, and I've just, I damp stretched this last night, but I've just noticed something that may cause me a problem, me personally, because of who I am and how I, how I roll. Um, so I want to just have a quick look at that in a second. So if I do three French knots up there, then I've still got French knots to do on the other two loops, okay. Um, Right, I won't fasten this off, I'll bring it up here ready to do the rest of the knots on there. What I noticed was that, you might not notice, but it'll bother me, I don't know what to do. Um, that doesn't look straight in relation to that, does it? Looks like it needs to come this way slightly. So I've got a decision to make. I'm looking at it my way now. Although it doesn't look so bad there actually. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't look straight, but it doesn't look hideously out of line either. So I might leave it. I'm going to have to think about that for a bit. And where else do I want to put the gimp? I need to think about that. Um, and then I need to think about what else I might want to put down here, because I don't just want to leave it like that with them. It needs more than that. So these are things that I'm considering as I'm doing it. So like I said, I still need three French knots there and three French knots there. That'll take me a nanosecond this evening. 
Um, and then this will have to go away again for a couple of days, but that's a good thing because it'll give me a chance to have a think about what I want to do next. Okay.